we are now going to look at a AAA service provisioning protocol known as Diameter. Um, there is a whole concept to Diameter and the detailing of the protocol, uh, which has to be explained uh, in due course. I'll try to be uh, as explanatory as possible, but if need be, we are going to look at more of it in due lectures. So let's start with the introduction. So Diameter is basically a standardized AAA um, service provisioning protocol um, recommended by the ITF. It actually came into being uh, because the traditional radius uh, protocol and service uh, that is remote authentication dial-in user service was not able to keep up with the emerging requirements uh, for uh, AAA that is uh, access, uh, authorization and uh, accounting uh, for emerging um, technologies especially at the underlying layers. So, uh, uh, diameter is basically again an application layer protocol and uh, it, it, it is meant to work with the user applications uh, for providing network access. Diameter is, it is an extended form of radius. So uh, the focus of uh, comparison of diameter is with radius to show and highlight what are the additional features which are provided by diameter. So diameter is reliable unlike uh, radius because it uses tcp and uh, streaming control transmission protocol unlike uh, udp uh, and the reason was because the scope of radius was only limited to individual subscribers which were connecting to the uh, network services using dial up modems the new access technologies like dsl mobile broadband optical and cable all necessitate that some new functionality that keeps up with their uh, high speed uh, bandwidth and uh, service delivery um, potential uh, have to be incorporated in some new um, protocol. So here it is diameter with its own uh, set of rich features. Uh, let's look at each one of these one by one. The first one is uh, failover. A failover actually means uh, once a particular server, service, connection, network, um, application fails, then there has to be a mechanism to automatically trigger the backup. This is known as failover. So, um, uh, Radius actually was using uh, UDP. So, it, it relied more on the application layer to come up with its own acknowledgement, acknowledgement mechanisms. But Diameter has facilitated it and improved it tremendously by using the concept of acknowledgements and some advanced failover methods. Then uh, there is a, a security uh, which is provided by um, Diameter because uh, Radius actually provided uh, uh, a mechanism known as the Extensible Authentication Protocol and IPsec. Um, IPsec works at the network layer and the uh, extensible authentication protocol would, would provide uh, security to the responses which were coming uh, from the end-to-end uh, -end, uh, applications. For instance, uh, the server which would respond to the uh, radius uh, initiated requests would be able to uh, encrypt and uh, uh, deliver um, the uh, messages in, an, in, in a secure manner. But uh, this, is, this was not the case for the uh, other uh, radius um, messaging and control information. Diameter has actually uh, ensured uh, this altogether at a new level. Uh, it, it actually has a um, uh, per packet encryption mechanism where the encryption can actually vary uh, from a packet to another packet. Uh, this uses again IPsec, uh, but at the transport layer, since it uses TCP, it can uh, be encrypted using the transport layer security. Diameter also has backward compatibility provisioning, uh, so it uh, does provide security 
on uh, UDP known as the DTLS. Then uh, uh, it is obviously uh, more reliable as compared to um, RADIUS. Unlike RADIUS, there is support for agents. Uh, now, agents are actually uh, the entities which would work uh, on behalf of the um, uh, diameter server to communicate with multiple clients. So it means we can think about relay agents, uh, proxy agents, and redirecting nodes as agents. So diameter utilizes a myriad of uh, agents to provide uh, services to the end users. Then there are uh, service server initiated messages. Usually uh, it is a client server model where a client initiates communication with the server. Um, in that case, the server is in no position to initiate communication with the client. Uh, but in, uh, in diameter, there's a provision that the server can actually initiate communication with the client. Um, for instance, there is uh, a mechanism known as unsolicited uh, disconnect where the server decides to disconnect the uh, and terminate the connection. And sometimes it, the server can ask the reauthentication and reauthorization uh, to, to take place. For that, the server initiated messages is a very good feature that has been introduced in Diameter. Then there is uh, transition support. Uh, transition support actually means that uh, Diameter is uh, backward compatible with the radius. So uh, within an organization, both a uh, Diameter as well as uh, radius can exist. Uh, a very interesting and exciting feature in Diameter is the capability negotiation. Uh, here, uh, the client and server uh, can actually negotiate on mutually agreeable parameters. Uh, this was not the case in RADIUS. So in RADIUS, if the parameters would not match, then uh, uh, a client could not avail the AAA services from RADIUS. But here, uh, Diameter uses some smart mechanisms like error handling mechanisms, capability negotiation by asking the values of parameters and features which are provided on either side to negotiate on the acceptable service level. Then um, there's another very exciting feature in, uh, in Diameter. Uh, let's look at RADIUS first. In RADIUS, uh, for all the client and server names and addresses, um, some kind of manual configuration was required. Uh, and in order to ensure uh, the security, um, use uh, uh, in EAP and uh, um, IPsec, some kind of shared secret key had to be uh, prov provisioned. Now, uh, sharing of the key was again a very laborious and administratively heavy uh, uh, task. And then these uh, shared secret keys had their limited applicability. Now, Diameter has taken it to a new level by introducing dynamic discovery uh, using uh, DNS. So uh, uh, the fully qualified domain name based uh, DNS uh, discovery mechanism helps a client to discover um, any agent which is, it, which is in its uh, uh, first hop uh, um, coverage. Likewise, uh, uh, an agent can also discover another agent to implement the uh, diameter functionality effectively.